what's up guys welcome back to another video thank you for being a part of the a na squad the a na gang and by the title of this video i'm sorry i look a mess because it's to the end of my pregnancy and it's to the point where i'm just over everything and i don't care how i look right now so if you're going to come for me in the comments boo boo come for me because i don't care right now you can come all you want to come like you can talk about me all under the comments because i don't care i'm just ready for this pregnancy to be over but anyways by the title of this video you guys already know what it is this is going to be my 37 38 week update and plus what's in my hospital bag i did what's in my daughter diaper bag so if you guys haven't seen that video please click off this video and go see that video because it was a like I, I liked it recording that video um like I said I still had the stuff to put in her um paper bag and I did so but yeah so without further ado we're gonna go just go ahead and get into the video I had to drink some water because I'm out of breath okay so this is actually my 36, my 37, and my 38 update. So 36 update, um, pretty much my 36 and my 37 update. Well, my 36 update, um, I went to get a culture. Basically, a culture is where they TMI, put a little thing, they swipe it in your JJ and see if you have any infections or anything so when the baby come out to see if she's gonna have an infection like an infection or an eye infection or anything um I'm still waiting for the results I don't know why that I don't have that but I know my baby not gonna have any infection when she's come because my baby is covered by God and um at my 36 week my 36 week apartment um I found out that she was five pounds and 12 ounces so that's pretty good so and then i got my latch ultrasound everything's okay with her like she's she's good she's down like everything's okay um so yeah my 37 week um i think i'm like 37 weeks in like four days or no i'm 37 weeks and Four days, yeah. 37 weeks and four days, I think. Because I would be 38 weeks on the Wednesday, but I won't be doing a 38 week and a 40 week update because that's probably the time my daughter is going to be here. So I won't be doing the update. So this probably is going to be my last update. And then you and then you guys going to get a vlog. And then you guys probably going to see her. But anyways, um, so my 37 weeks, um, she's, like I said, she's five pounds. So five pounds for ounces. So really, she's like literally six pounds. Yeah. So when she's come out, she's gonna be seven pounds. Hopefully, she's seven pounds. Um, like I said, when I went to the doctor, they said that she was already five pounds twelve ounces. So that is a good thing. She's not a small baby, and she's not four pounds. Because if you guys don't know, if your baby, even if your baby four pounds. You, your your baby has to be at least five pounds for her to get out the hospital or they would keep your baby um because they feel like four pounds is just a little too small for them to be outside and stuff so i'm glad she's that way um some symptoms i had i didn't really have any symptoms at my 37 weeks um and the thing i had was like major heartburns my 36 weeks i had major heartburns to the point to where i had to drink milk constantly Every night before I go to bed, I had to um, drink some milk or something. Um, I do still get them, but I don't get them as much as I did when I was like 20 weeks or 21 weeks. Like, I don't get them as much. So, I know my daughter is going to come out with a lot of hair because I be getting them like, I got them like crazy. Like, my whole second semester, my whole second trimester, I had heartburns to like the beginning ending of my third trimester like right now i get them but they don't be as strong as they was so that's good um so cravings i have for my 37 weeks update i was um 
pretty much craving a lot of pineapples um if you guys don't if you guys watch like all my updates through my whole pregnancy or you guys follow me on any of my social medias account you know that i was craving a lot of fruit and candy and i couldn't really eat pineapples because the taste of them my baby didn't like but now she can eat them like i can eat them and i won't throw up or anything like they just perfect for her um so that's pretty much it i still crave a lot of sweets like honey buns and all that i still crave a lot of sweets um and i also crave a lot of sodas um when i did take my glucose test 28 week i think i think i was 28 weeks when i took my glucose test um basically that's like a sugar test to see how your baby reacts to sugar um she didn't really react like people was like oh she's gonna move like crazy my daughter didn't really move she moved like two times so i knew that she wasn't going to be i knew i wasn't going to be a diabetic while i was pregnant because she didn't really react um i didn't really crave sodas in my second trimester now that i'm about to end my end my pregnancy i crave sodas like crazy like i always want a soda like i always want a sprite or a mountain dew but i try not to drink them because it can you know like it's not really healthy to even drink sodas while you're pregnant but now i drink them because i'm almost to the end um I still take my prenatal vitamins um i actually need to go get some more because i want to take them after she's here i still want to take them so i don't know like a lot i know a lot of people do still take their prenatal vitamins after their baby come so i the ones i have now are disgusting like i have to only drink milk to take them but i'm gonna go and get um some more i'm out of breath give me one second but yeah i'm gonna get some more so that's pretty much it so i'm gonna show you guys my belly um she is kind of low hospital bag um this was a bag i had for i think it was school or something i don't know i had this bag for something oh this was my purse i used to carry this as a purse and stuff like that now i'm gonna use it as my um my hospital bag or whatever so it's just blue and white it's similar to my daughter's diaper bag um i pretty much got them together because it was a deal but we got a little small pocket, so I'm gonna nothing's or so nothing's or in these pockets. Um, I don't have nothing in the pockets, but in this big pocket, um, I got five pads. Um, because you know, after you have your baby, you kind of bleed like crazy. I know the hospital do give you some, but um, I put some in here just in case I don't like those, and I also have to go get some more. So when I come home, I have them. Um, I have Dove. I use Dove soap because it smells. This smells so good. Like if you use Dove soap, get this kind, Pink Rose, cause it smells so good. Like it smells so good. I also have um, wet wipes. Um, I am very sensitive down there. Um, I can't use certain type of tissue because it breaks me out so i decided to put my wet wipes in here so when i do use the bathroom at the hospital i can you know wipe it wipe it down with this so i got wet wipes in here um and i also got my toothbrush my toothbrush and i also got my lotion my skin is very sensitive so i use oatmeal lotion because it has great what's the word i want to say it had good products in here because my skin is dry and it smells so good like it smells so good so yeah that's all i have in that little thing 
put everything back in here. Um, I don't have everything in my hospital bag because I still need to go shopping for, like, I think it's one more thing I need. But I should be good with everything I got. So, yeah. Um, this is my folder they gave me when I went to go register for the hospital. I'm going to take this um, just for, like, when I have to sign papers or anything when she's born, I'm going to put all in here. And this is going to go on her diaper bag. So, like, when she get, like, her birth certificate and any other doctor's paperwork is going to be in her diaper bag. So, I know where it's at. So, I got that. Um, I also got some underwears, you know. Really don't want to show that off. Um, I got some, um, I'm not going to breastfeed, um. That's something I don't want to do. So, I just put two regular bras in here. Um, right now, I can't wear them. So, I have on a sports bra. But, once she's here, I can put them back on. Um, I got a pajama set. I got this from Walmart. It came with these little red shorts. It's so comfortable. Like, I have some pink ones. And they're so comfortable. And then it came with the... Um, black shirt um like i got some more underwears in here i got socks in here um because your feet they're going to give you socks because i have a list in my folder of everything they're going to give you but i just want to be comfortable in my own stuff so i got some socks so because i know the um it's going to be cold um i should be only in the hospital for one day but just in case, I'm going to pack another pajama set. But I know I'm not down here and where I'm at. They don't keep you past, like, two days. They only keep you for one day. Make sure you're good. Do what you got to do and you out. So, yeah. And then I got my um, going home outfit. It's just a little Macy dress that I got from Ross. So, this is black. So, um, yeah. I don't want to be, like. I don't want to have on too much clothes when I leave. And I got the Macy dress just in case I have a C-section. And I don't want nothing like tight on my, on the scarf. And then last but not least, I got my, um, Victoria's Secrets She Love, uh, Share Love perfume. I love this perfume. Guys, go to Victoria's Secret, get this. Um, I did have a lotion. I use all the lotions. So now I have the, the spray. So, Yeah. So that's pretty much it guys what I have in my hospital bag um because like I said the hospital I'm going to we really don't need much so yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video please like comment and subscribe and please go check out my vlogs or any of other my videos on my channel and thank you for joining the ANA squad bye